Deadweight loss. Deadweight loss is the loss of economic efficiency when the market equilibrium is not achieved. It's the cost to society due to market inefficiency. To put it another way, we can look at this supply and demand graph. In this graph, we can see that the equilibrium point is at quantity Q0 and price P0. However, the state of the market is actually at Q1 and P1. The area of the dark orange triangle is the dead weight loss because we are not at the equilibrium point. There are several causes of dead weight loss. The first is price floors. There are several causes of dead weight loss. The first is price floors. Price floors are when the government sets a limit on how low a price can be charged for a good or service, like minimum wages. The second cause is price ceilings. This is when the government sets a limit on how high a price can be for a good or service. For example, rent control is a common price ceiling. The third cause is taxation. This is when the government adds taxes to a good or service that brings its selling price above the equilibrium level. For example, taxes on specific goods like cigarettes or alcohol cause deadweight loss. The last reason is imperfect competition. This is when companies have some sort of differentiating advantage that allows them to restrict supply and increase prices above the equilibrium level. Oligopolies and monopolies are the usual suspects for causing deadweight losses due to imperfect competition. Here we have a visual example of deadweight loss. At equilibrium, the price is $5 with a quantity demanded of 500 units. Then, the government introduces a tax on the product, increasing the after-tax selling price to $750. Quantity demanded falls to 450 units and both consumer and producer surplus decrease as a result of taxation. Due to the added tax, a dead weight loss has been created, which is the value of the trades not being made. To calculate dead weight loss, we need to calculate the area of the dark orange triangle. So we take 1 half times P2 minus P1 times Q0 minus Q1. If we apply this to our example earlier, that would be 1 half times 3.5 minus 7.5, which is negative 4, times 500 minus 450, which is 50. So that was 1 half times negative 4 times 50 equaling negative 100. So the dead weight loss caused by taxation is $100. We hope this video gave you a better understanding of deadweight loss.